Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. Over the last several episodes, we talked about the first two commandments and have moved on to the third. We discussed worship and working on Sundays, and now it's time to talk about the third aspect of keeping the Lord's Day holy, employing people on Sundays. The long and short of this one is that in the same way that we should have Sunday off to remind ourselves that God, not profit, is the ultimate goal, so we should allow others to do the same, and never force them to do something like work on Sundays that would interfere with that. The Catechism says it extremely well. God's action is the model for human action. If God rested and was refreshed on the seventh day, man too ought to rest and should let others, especially the poor, be refreshed. The Sabbath brings everyday work to a halt and provides a respite. It is a day of protest against the servitude of work and the worship of money. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 2172. When we force people, especially poor people, to work on Sundays, even if they're being paid by the hour, we're still robbing them of the chance to rest and be refreshed, to escape for a while from the constant struggle to pay the bills and enslavement to profit. That said, there are two big reasons why an employer might consider it acceptable to employ people on a Sunday. The first, and the most obvious one, is simply if the employee insists on it. This is so uncommon, though, that the second reason is much more likely to happen. If a company is small enough, and united enough, that everyone involved in the business has a stake in its well-being, and if it were absolutely certain that the company would go under unless people worked on a Sunday, then by common consent it would be justified to do so. However, like the first, this is not an extremely common situation, and is becoming less and less common due to the way modern economics works. In the end, what we should take away from this aspect of the third commandment is simply this. God wants people to have a chance to take a break from the struggle for profit and remember their devotion to Him. When employers force people to work on Sundays, they interfere with that. And therefore, in most cases, that would be a serious sin. Next time, we'll talk about the fourth aspect of keeping the Lord's Day holy, relaxation and enjoyment on Sundays. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.